here we go. Hello guys, welcome to the channel of the Homeless Martial Artist. This is the Homeless Martial Artist speaking. And, alright, let's get started. I just want to say a few things. And I just want to, first I just want to apologize for the long wait. Uh, in turn, I don't think I actually ended up uh, making any sort of videos as of last week. I had a little trouble uh, trying to upload some video content. And on top of like work and other things I had to do, I just... I didn't have time, and uh, I deeply apologize for that. I will, uh, let me turn this down. I definitely will, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> what am I saying? I definitely will complete. All right, let's continue. All right, so now we're in skin grad. I um, stole some things. I'm, I'm robbing the city, and I wanted to only do one mission. I think there's probably some other interesting things. Um, about the city, um, obviously there's the, the mages guilds and shit like that in Skingrad. But also, I do know I I we met this interesting character named Glothir, and if I'm correct, here let me just check the mission. And he, uh, I I know exactly where this mission is gonna. I met a mysterious man in the woods. Midnight tonight. Okay. All right, let's meet up with him anyway. It's midnight, right? Behind the trap at midnight. So this guy is paranoid. He thinks that people are watching him. So which is quite interesting. Hello. Alright. What's up, man? Ah, you came! You're sure you weren't followed? Good. I thought I could trust you. Nobody else in town. They're all in on it. All watching me. Well, yes, I need you to do something for me. I'll pay you gold. You like gold, don't you? Lots of gold. All right. Here's my problem. I'm being followed. Watched. Maru coffee selectives, maybe. Not sure. I'm a threat, you see, to their plans. I know too much. I need you to check out some people for me. The ones who are following me. Watch them. See where they go. Who they report to. Will you help me? Very good. You won't be sorry. I mean, it's I'll free gold, well. right? Did I say that already? Let's start with Bernadette Penelis. Be outside my house at 6 a.m. You'll see her watching me. See where she goes and who she reports to. We'll meet here again tomorrow night. Oh, and never contact me in public. They're watching. They can't know you're helping me. Alright, interesting. Remember, Bernadette Penance, 16. I mean, I want free gold, right? <laughs> Might as well. Alright, but let's rob some places. And again, as I said before, always, um, if you are, uh, you know, uh, obviously, um, I will, I, I do upload uh, a more compacted and edited version of these, like, uh, playthroughs. So, if you're not really into, you know, watching me streams... Uh, you can always check out my playthrough on thehomelessmartialartist.com. I'll take those. They're free. Alright, no one's watching. This is kind of shit. Yeah, this stuff is shit. <laughs> Where's the... Uh, well.
interesting. We have a furnace. I, I, I've wanted to try out how the there's a new mechanic in the game, at least in a mod, where you can use furnaces. Uh, I don't know. My, I, I don't know how to use them, but I'm kind of curious about how to use them. Um, it might take some time, though. That's the only problem. Some hammers. Keep, oh. Stop right there, criminal scum. Alright, let's keep moving. Here we ain't gone. It's my pleasure. Also, guys, I think I want to get put install a mod where um, you have to uh, like eat and sleep. I think it would add a little more. Um, I, don't, I would add a little more depth to the game, and I think a little more purpose to other things that are kind of like, for example, I never use inns, but like if I really need, I only really ever sleep in the game. Just basically to level up. But I think having a purpose to having like a tent. Like just, just needing to sleep I think is going to add a purpose to a lot of things that are quite purposeless in the game. So like, because he, yeah, I only sleep if I just need to, you know. Um, so, I don't know, just having to sleep I, I think, yeah. Um, I, I guess maybe I might, in the game I'm probably going to also get a mod where... You have to, like, use a tent, like, you can unfold a tent, something like that. Or a cot. It's all over, lawbreaker.
idea if it's useful. It's all over, lawbreaker. Two more hours. Oh! <laughs> I know what we're gonna rob. Oh! Oh, this is cool! A nice addition. Remember, Better Cities mod. Highly recommend it. Anyway. The Vile. Well. Is there anything I can do with that information? I mean, this is a cool map and all, but like... Can... The world of gaming. Hello. We haven't met, have we? I'm Sister Marie Paliella, a chapel healer and trainer in the restoration arts. Interesting. Good that you want to get better. Probably, I think if I need, if I, I do kind of want to use some magic, especially for restoration. Just in case. It's gotta be nice and juicy loot here. Sacrilege we're stealing from a church. Whatever, my guy's more in line with the Daedra. I mean the world does not run on virtue, you know. It's nice to be virtuous when it's kinda convenient. <laughs> I just draw the line at killing people. I don't do that. But I will join the, the Dark Brotherhood. Definitely. So. Wait. I was going to say. Is she like. Uh, is she with the Mythic Dawn? Okay. someone is in here.
we gotta get out of here. Not, not because we're in trouble, but I didn't want to do this mission. The Nine Divine. At 6 a.m., we have to be here. Wait, what's the mission exactly? Glother believes that... Bernadette Pinellas is following him. I need to be outside his house at 6 a.m. See what she does. He will meet me behind the chapel at midnight. Okay. Well, we could just go to the chapel. Yeah, I mean. I told you not. Ah, uh, uh, sorry. Ah, uh, go away, man. Creep. He just he just wants to mug someone. Do I have a knife? Ah, uh, whatever. I I'll go. I'll battle now. Whatever. What do you want? This is a hug. Maybe if I have armor, but we'll just go down there. They don't have sewers in the vanilla. I don't know what kind of shit we're gonna... We'll check out this place later. Uh, I just I, I I want armor. So I feel like I don't have. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'll come back here for later. 
I want armor. I told you. Ah. Well, what we can do is, uh, I guess, maybe let's just head to my home. Goods. And let's hope the game doesn't crash. Hello. What can I do? Good journey to you. Uh, maybe... And I think, I, I won't lie guys, I did up the graphics a little bit, just to hopefully it will work, but... If it doesn't work, then we have to turn them down. So... I'm really... T yes, the Vampire Hunter. As far as I know, he just showed up recently here in Bruma. Not only that, but he already found a vampire among us. Interesting. Apparently, Brayden Lyrian was one of those vile creatures, and Rainil slew him. Kind of strange, though. I never figured Brayden to be a vampire. He seemed to be such an likable fellow. Yeah, my friend. Arnora and Jurunder were once a happy couple, but that's over now. I hear that he took all of their money and stashed it after he committed a robbery. He was gonna skip town on Arnora, but got arrested before making good on his escape. Now she has no money left at all, poor thing. Well... <sighs> uh, I mean, I think I remember that mission, but anyway. Shadow hide you. Frequent to crash, and again, if it crashes, we just gotta turn down the uh, graphics. So. Mm. And Daedra worship has become increasingly prevalent in the Somerset Isle. It seems the Somerset Isle has become a much more dangerous. You know. watching me and following me, wasn't she? Really? That is surprising. I was sure she was watching me. I'm only gonna re Ah, of course. The gold. Here. But there is someone else I need you to investigate. Tootius Sextius. Do you know him? A quiet fellow. Appears harmless enough. But I've identified him as one of my key suspects. He's a clever one, no doubt about it. 
eyes in the back of his head, always seems to know when I'm watching. But that's where you come in. You should wait outside his house and see what he does when he's not watching me. I'll meet you here tomorrow night to get your report. I still can hardly believe she wasn't watching me, but it is a relief to be... He lives in the large house between the low gate and... Don't let Tucci's sensitives catch you for... I don't know. I mean, we're just gonna report back tomorrow. Let's just steal some shit. Yeah, I'm just gonna complete this mission with Glothir, and then... Uh... I guess we'll, uh, and then we'll just end the stream at that point. So. It's a bar. How about, what's a person like you doing? Yeah, a person like you, a goody two-shoes, a do-gooder, an all-out pansy. We don't take kindly to your kind around here. My patrons get a bit antsy when one of your kind comes around here. It always seems to lead to trouble, like the town guard getting their nose into our business. So perhaps it's best you just turn around and walk right back out the door and never come in here again. That is, if you know what's good for it. Creepy. What do you want? What do you want? Fuck this guy, I'm gonna steal some of this shit. I haven't time for fools. I see, it's a gambling gun. How about mixing up some potions? You look like quite the alchemist. I don't think so. Well, I took some money from the asshole. A gambling mechanic what would be want? fun, though. Why do you bother me? Go away. I thought I told you to... I thought I told... Don't look at me like that. I have nothing to do with the other people here. I don't know what goes on in this place, and I don't care. I just came here to drink. Did you? Can't a man wallow in the dark in peace anymore? Go and annoy someone else. Hey, you there? My eyesight isn't what it used to be. So tell me, is this a six of hearts, or an eight? Oh. That would definitely explain why I've been losing. What are you looking at me like that for? Can't a woman gamble with her own money? <laughs> this is like taking candy from babies, only instead of candy is money, and instead of babies it's idiots. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. I'm not going in the abandoned house.
which has nothing. Why some kind of disease? Let's check the basement. I think the arrows. Uh, let's check out the stores. They may have more money. Mages always have value.
I think you should leave. Sorry, sorry. I, just, I saw this like funny <laughs> video. <laughs> uh, I only, I, it's like a really funny short from Skyrim about <laughs> the Dragonborn. <laughs> How he takes his greatness for granted. He's like, oh my god, you're the Dragonborn. And he's like, oh uh, yeah, why well, yeah, I am. <laughs> it's like, it's a, uh, yeah, and I'm also like the Thane of White Ron, the 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 head of the Archmage, the yeah the Archmage of Winterhold. Even though I like know only two spells, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Out of a book writing kit, well, it's worth a lot. Uh, it's just a courier service. There's nothing here. Oh. That's why he doesn't lock it, because there's not anything worth stealing. Let's just meet Glothir one more time. I'm gonna lie, obviously. Tell me what you... Really? So you're saying that neither Bernadette Penelis or Tutius Sextius is part of the conspiracy against me? Hard to believe. Yes, the gold that you value so highly. I wonder what price betrayal. Never mind that. 
Oh, we shall see. I do have one more name for you. Alright, nice. Do you know David Sorley? Yes, of the famous Sorley Vineyards. Pillar of the community, etc. Who would ever suspect him? Perfect cover for the ringleader of the whole conspiracy! He watches my house constantly. You'll see. He leaves his house early each morning. Watch him and report back to me here at midnight as usual. Make sure he doesn't notice you. Let's follow Glothir and see, like, what's his house like. The fuck? What's that? Look, he has those for, right? <laughs> Why the fuck does he have those? Uh, 
Maybe we should be worried. He's kind of a hoarder. Look at all this shit he has. He's definitely a hoarder. This guy's not well. He's got like battle axes and shit. Oh shit, we're sorry, man. The fuck? This is going to be interesting. Let's see these notes. Good news. I may still have a chance. Found someone to help me. A stranger who can move freely. Hope to have proof against the Benedette, Benedette uh, Pinellas tonight. Benedette Pinellas is not involved in the conspiracy. At least so many, uh, at least so my new acquaintance tells me. I hope it is true, but my instincts are rarely wrong. <laughs> oh my God. I hope. I hope, sorry, my, um, but I have no reason to suspect treachery yet. The report of uh, Totus Sext, uh, sorry, Sextius should help me decide whether my friend's loyalties lie. Definitely not with you. I fear the conspiracy spreads further than I thought. This boat stranger in town appears to be involved. Uh oh. It is likely that both the Benedet. Pinellas and Tudely Sextus are blameless, but I must not act without proof. I, <laughs> you can't act without proof. You already are. I have always held myself to a higher standard than my enemies. The report on David Purile will tell me the tale. I fear that the end is near, but I will not go down without a fight. They will know that Glothier at least did not submit to their yoke quietly. He's a little crazy. Current current thoughts on the conspiracy. Uh, Markutai selectives, most likely. Ruthless and secretive. I have doubts earned their enmity by my vigilance numerous times. The, bl <laughs> the blades? Supposedly the guardians of the empire. Question. Do they know that I know their dark secret? Everything hinges on that. Mythic Dawn. Need to learn more about them. Obscured hints from various sources suggest 
that they could be the most dangerous of the three. Question, why do they want me dead? Yeah, these guys are nuts. Monday, today I caught Bernadette Pinellas watching me. I have very little doubt that she is one of them. This saddens me. I had thought her of one of the few to show me kindness in the nest of treachery. But now it seems that it was all a lie. Oh my god. Observer of David Purile. Mond Monday? Mordas? M Mordas. I don't know. Watch him from my upstairs window. He pretends to work, but I can tell he is really watching my house. Spent several hours whispering to his brother. Could Gaston be involved as well? Tirdus followed me to his vineyard. Don't think he saw me. He went off by himself once. Could have been burying secret. Evidence? Note. Go back tonight and search for this. Could be the break I need to finally learn the truth. Uh, Midas. Too sick to go out today, but noticed him staring at my window. Tirdus. I uh, searched the vineyard tonight, found nothing but the grand, but the ground had cleared been disturbed. He must have learned I was spying on him and removed it. No, need to find someone from out of town to help. My movements are too closely watched. This guy. David watched my house again. Uh, he doesn't even try to hide it anymore. They are becoming more brazen now. I think I am as good as caught in their net. I must strike back before this is too late. But are desperate measures called for yet? I do have enough proof to justify my acting. Alright, this guy's nuts. Uh, well, obviously. I mean, I get some money, but... Maybe we should report it to the guard. Alright. What seems to be... I've heard that someone has it out for Tudius Sextius. But who'd want to hurt him? Oh, you know. Goodbye. Well, let's keep robbing places. Ceremonial, my ass. It's worthless. <laughs> it's fucking worthless.
Yes. I doesn't give a shit. He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> he couldn't give two shits. Fights Guild. did you discover about the upstanding David Surly? Just as I suspected, they've gotten to you too! Not one of them involved in the conspiracy, and you expect me to believe that? Now I know for sure that they are all in on it, and therefore they all have to die. Starting with you! Yeah! Oh! That's the best you can do? Uh, 
How it goes. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I, I'm happy. I'm happy he's dead. <laughs> what? Uh, another nap. He turned up dead. I guess someone finally got tired of his crazy behavior. Oh, you've heard about it too. A body was stolen from the chapel recently, right before the burial. Speak with the priest in the chapel if you're interested. Ah, interesting. Take care. Well, let's do this mission. Mo missions, huh? Well. How do you do? What's the news from the other parts? Of Blessings of the Nine. My name is Tumanville. I am the chapel priest. I am sure you can find your way around the chapel by yourself. Ah, you've been speaking with a gossip? Well, it is true, my child. I don't suppose it will harm anyone now, will it? A recently wed woman, Lady Lucy Varen, died about two weeks ago. We had her body in the Undercroft Chapel ready for burial, but the body mysteriously disappeared the night before the funeral. Well, that's another matter. We have a poor lad we pay to clean the chapel. Honestly, we would do it ourselves, but he insisted on providing a service for the chapel instead of just accepting our charity. So we let him work here on the evenings. Okay. The night of the body's disappearance, he was cleaning the chapel. After dinner, I saw that the Undercroft Chapel was open, which is unusual. Elijah so I went to check in and saw him wandering please around. Please give me money, Elijah and Craig, for advertising your whiskey. Oh, anyway. The poor lad was probably drunk like always. He claimed he had no memory of how he got there and that he didn't see anything. Still, he was the only one, except for the other members of the priesthood here who had access to the Undercroft Chapel. He spends most of his day at the Page of Cups. His name is Kelgen. I'm afraid he won't be of much help, though. People are mean sometimes, you know. They are teasing him all the time because of this misadventure. The lad is drinking even more now than before. Child... May I ask why are you so interested in this matter? May the Nine guide your path always, my child. Oh yeah, we've been in here before. I've been here. Yes? What? Stop talking. What? Oh, he's like a red guard? Say what you're going to say. For you? Of course. Thank you, how can I? Yes, it's true, but I don't believe you are here just to talk. Me. Meet me at the chapel tomorrow around 7 in the evening, friend, and I will explain what happened. Goodbye. Greetings, Zor. So he's probably in there.
There he is. Took too long, man. I, hope I can help. Sure. I was cleaning the chapel like I am right now. See, I know it was about this time when I suddenly was in the Undercroft Chapel. I mean, I was here, and then suddenly I was there. At least this is how my mind sees it. No, you don't. I wasn't drunk. I never drink on the job. Each day I take a nap in the afternoon so I'm rested and clean for the job. The priest here is kind enough to give me some money. I know he doesn't have to. But I'm no beggar. I want to work for my money. Never mind. Everybody thinks I'm just a drunk who loses bodies every day. Not that I know of, but people are cruel, you know. Anyway, I was sweeping up and it seems that I skipped time. I suddenly found myself in the Undercroft Chapel two hours later, and a priest was asking me why I left the door of the Undercroft Chapel open. I have no clue what happened in between, but... I have had nightmares since that night. Well, not precisely. I always have nightmares about my life, but that's another matter. No, I mean I seem to recall some things from that night. The night the body disappeared. I remember eyes, big red scary eyes. They follow me everywhere. They are in my head and I'm leading them to the Undercroft Chapel. I'm scared. I don't know what to do and I'm forced to obey like I can't control my own body. See, madness. It's probably the guilt catching up to me. That's the whole story. I was nearly alone in the chapel. The priests were dining in their quarters. And Lady Varian's body just disappeared. Uh -huh. And Lord Varian won't even look at me now. Not that he did before. Anyway. Can't say I did really. I'm the uncle of one of his servants, you see. Yeah, Elizabeth is my niece. We still talk, and she told me the Lord was really outraged he couldn't have a proper burial for his wife. If it wasn't for her, he might have had me killed. But he listens to her. She explained that I was not really responsible. A good girl, my Elizabeth. I think that was the girl that told us to fuck off of the house. He is nobility, you know. He doesn't speak to people like us. Yeah. Sure, I can talk to her, but what is this to you? Hmm. I guess you young people like a good mystery once in a while. Come to my home later tonight. We can share some dinner and I'll introduce you to my niece. You'll have to convince her to introduce you to Lord Varian. I don't know much about him either. Just that he appeared in Anvil shortly after the attack on the chapel there. Be soon. Kelgan's niece works at Lord Varian and probably can persuade him to speak with me about his wife. I was dead. I should go to Kelgan's house between 10 p.m. and midnight when his niece will be there with him. Yeah, but where, where's his house? I... Said he'd be here. There he is. It's my pleasure. Please. What? Ah, uh, don't tell me it's like glitched out or some shit. I hope I can. Farewell.
I hope I can... Yes, I am his mate. Is there anything I can help you with? Of course. Not very well, though. She just came from my rock, I think. The poor thing. She was all alone here. All her family stayed behind. She was given to Lord Varian in marriage to ensure some trade business among the two families. And then she got sick and died. Indeed, foul play. two weeks after coming here, she died in pain. I am suspecting foul play. Not really, no. She was in bed all day, looking as pale as a ghost. She was delirious most of the time due to the fever. She kept blabbering about her husband not being as he seemed. Yeah, there's foul play. Ugh. I knew it. She was delirious. I guess being forced to marry a man twice her age was too much for her. Ah, uh, in the medieval period? No. Sure, Lord Varian is a bit peculiar, I mean. Well, it's just that all the other maids I know live at their master's house, you know. Yet I am not allowed to live there. I couldn't take care of the poor mistress at night. Each evening at ten o'clock, Lord Varian sent me home. Like I said, I couldn't be of assistance to the lady while she was sickened. The maids at the other houses say Lord Varian finds me too ugly to live in his house, and that he doesn't trust me, not even to get his groceries. He tells me he has a very specific diet, and that I wouldn't know what he needs. Well, I am doing the groceries and the cooking when he has guests for lunch or dinner, but the rest of the time he cooks for himself, and also does the dishes. That's not all. Yes, he follows me all around while I'm tending the house. Well, not everywhere, but in the main room and in his bedroom. He is always there pretending to read or write something. Like if I would steal something from him, it is very upsetting. How so? Ah oh, yes, it is very strange that one minute he follows me everywhere as if to make sure I'm not a thief. And the next minute he asks me about things like the proper shirt to go with his jacket. I was able to convince him not to have the guards arrest my uncle. He might have ended up being executed if blamed for Lady Lucy's disappearance. But... You want me to talk to Lord Varian on your behalf? Oh, so you want to talk to him yourself? What's this about? Well, I'm not sure you would welcome that. He is very private. I'll do what I can, but don't blame me if he is not very friendly. Give me the morning to speak to him. Come see him in the afternoon. That is, unless tomorrow is Turdus. I don't work on Turdus, you see. It's like Tuesday, right? Good day. Elizabeth has told me about your desire to talk about my wife. I don't see that it is any of your business, but I am willing to talk about it. By the way, guys, I do have to use the restroom. I'll be right back. Give me one sec. What can I say? Thank you. It is deeply appreciated. You mean about her disappearance? Ah, well, I'm not really versed in medicine. I don't know much about human biology. People. See, I'm a salesman. I have many interests in various businesses, and I am always busy with them somewhere. At least I was, until I decided to settle down and find a wife, Lucy. She became very ill the instant we entered Skin Red, and I even had to call a doctor for her. That's right. I am a very wise human. Ah, ah, ah. Er, I mean person. That's why I called the doctor. Yes, he tended to her illness for two weeks before she passed away. This is getting rather personal. I don't really know you all that well. I don't want to speak any further. I can't talk now.
You again? As I said before, I don't know you very well, and I don't feel... What? Okay. All right. We gotta bribe the guy now. Bullshit. V.S. I'm gonna waste so much money. I don't want to waste this much Listen, money. You again? All right. I appreciate the gesture. For you, what a thoughtful gift. Take care. I, I, for, like, your standard Oblivion quest, you don't have to, like... You again? I did ask him about my Lucy, but I didn't hear anything. I was caught up in my own sorrow. All I know is that she was very sick, and he could do nothing for her but to lower her fever. He is coming tomorrow. Do you wish to meet him? You can't ask him anything you want about my wife's illness. Maybe this time I'll be able to hear what he has to say. Come back tomorrow in the afternoon. We'll have dinner. Now, if you'll excuse me. See you. Well, then. He is here, as I said. Feel free to talk to him. I already told him about you. Oh, there he is. What? <laughs> His glasses? Whatever, man. Won't you sit down? I'll strain my neck looking up at you. What? Yes, yes. I know exactly what you're here for. Yes, I do. He did. I know you want to know about his wife, how she lived, how she died, and the rest. I am. Was her doctor. That's who I am. I can tell you things, things about her illness, Neil. It all started about a week before she died. Baldor contacted me because his wife was sick. And sick she was. She was pale and very weak. I thought she had caught a bad flu, but I was wrong. Very wrong. She did bitten. Well, if you know any kind of insect that drains the vital fluids out of your veins, then yes. But if not, uh, guess not. Well, if you take into account the fact that she became allergic to sunlight, began to sleep all day and vomited whenever presented with garlic, I'd say yes. Well, neither did I to start with. The vampires of Sir Leo don't usually linger with their prey. They just drain them and get it over with. They are savage creatures without any control. I heard about cases of vampirism in other provinces, though. And moreover, for instance, there are three different families of vampire, each of their own hierarchy and live in a civilized manner compared to the savage vampires we have here. I won't bore you with the details, though. Enough to say that I suspect a vampire from another province has taken the blood of Lucy. Thinking on it now, it seems obvious that she was infected by a vampire. She may now have turned into one herself. Not really. I'm not from this town, you see. In fact, I'm not from any town, really. I travel a lot going where the patients need me. I think Baldo can help you more with that. Take care. What can I... Bye. Sus. It seems I didn't pay enough attention to what the good doctor was saying before. A vampire. Can you believe that? Here in Skinbrad, I thought we were safe here. Not really, no. Though maybe, I don't know. I have a friend. Well, to say an acquaintance would be more appropriate. Who was visiting us soon after we came to settle in Skinbrad. He became really close to my poor Lucy. Now that I think of it, he only visited us in the evening. Which is easily explained because he had other duties during the day, I gather. Oh, that is of no importance now. He left town on some business trip, not long before Lucy passed away, so he couldn't be responsible. 
What do you mean, Heidi? You think he could have prepared all this and pretended to leave just to be able to snatch the corpse of my dear Lucy? Well, we have to know. He's oh, we know who's a vampire. I hope you will investigate his house. The house, of course, will be locked. But I am a noble and I can ask the guards for a key that will open this house. You will meet me tomorrow morning and I will give you that key. I'll also mark the house on your map so you won't enter the wrong house. No worries. The guards won't bother you. I will explain to them that you were sent by me to recover some documents the Baron forgot to give me before his departure. The guards know better than to question a Lord's word in this town. So I will see you tomorrow then. I'm full of dead bodies. So anyway, we're just gonna sneak in. Yeah, I mean, I know that I, I, this was uh, that this was already viewed um, in that this mission. That some parts of this mission were viewed in a previous playthrough, but I missed out on some parts. So I'm just gonna replay it again. Sorry, guys. A little whiskey. And then after this mission, let's head to Anvil and just buy that uh, home. Exactly, do you expect? I see. You should probably talk to Fala Nuhlalo. She has an alchemist shop here in Skingra. Alright, Farewell. I guess she opens the shop late. Me? I'm Falano. House Lalo. As if that matters. I'm the only alchemist in Skingrad. Not much business here, but I can't go back to Morrowind. It's just like anywhere else in the Empire. By the way, do you happen to know what the fun is here in Cyrodiil for necrophilia? Just asking. Let's assume... no. That's nothing compared to Morrowind, thanks! <laughs> I'm the by the way Thanks anyway. I'm the by the Oh nothing. Hmm. Sure, I can try to identify this and tell you where it came from. But uh, Where did you get it? 
Oh, aren't you secretive? That's fine with me. Life can get so boring around here. This will bring some excitement into my usual routine. Just come back tomorrow evening before I close the shop, and I should have the results. Take care. My dear friend, I have to leave town to attend my important clan meeting in Marwin. I'm sorry I couldn't be of more assistance with Lucy. Lucy's recent anemia, but I suggest you keep her from the sun for the time being. It may also be wise not to spice her food too much to forbid condiments like garlic and onions. I guess it's not necessarily implying that he's a vampire. I'll return the month and we'll probably have some new business propositions for you at the time. I do hope your faithful Lucy will have recovered by then and that we can have one of our customary late evening meals. Rest assured of my eternal friendship and give Lucy my best wishes. Okay.
Oh my god, how long does this thing take to kill? Is it invincible? Is this thing invincible? Come on! What the fuck is this? Are they friendly? there it seems a little fly has wandered into our web fellow members let us make this tiny morsel welcome in our home oh no please don't leave you've only just arrived we have food and drink some of which is just to die for and care for an apple oh at least they're not trying to kill me well 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 what do we have here a stranger has wandered into our midst how fortunate for us cool Thanks for the free stuff. <laughs> These guys are kind of cool, actually. Free stuff. 
I mean, I don't hate the shrouded armor. It looks pretty. Ooh. Ooh. Sell those. I'm listening. Go ahead. I don't know why they call me Copperhead. No, nope, I'm actually a blonde. I just use the blood of my victims to dye it red. You should be. I'm all out of blood, and I think I see a grey hair poking through. And look, a whole sack full of wonderful, warm blood standing right in front of me. Well, at least, I mean, to be fair, they wanted to kill you, they would have killed me, right? No, don't go. We've barely gotten to know one another. Wouldn't you like to see my collection of sharp objects? Look at that. Am I though? Really? How about mixing up some potions? You look like quite an alchemist. They seem so friendly. <laughs> yeah, this is I thought. I I was getting ready for a fight. I was like, oh shit. Please, you won't get away with this. Oh what? Right, Looks huh. like got a what? Whoa, whoa! I'm, I'm stealing from a bunch of murderers, and they have the gall to call me a thief. Well, don't tell me I have a bounty. Well, I don't even. Have well, a thief. Screw off. Uh, put that back, you worthless thief! Put that back, you worth somebody else! Put that back! Somebody else! I think they don't know. Oh, a new face. How wonderful! They don't give a shit. I feel like singing. Grab your victim by the head. Spin his neck until he's dead. Round and round his neck will go. When it pops, who will know? Why, I'm just a happy singing fellow. Oh, pull his fingers till they snap. Stuff his mouth with linen wrap. Cut off all his little toes. Then crush his big, fat, stinking nose. <laughs> Looks like he's got a thief on this. Put oh. that back, you worthless thief. Sure. Alright, nice. They're cool. I said it's owned by anyone. Well, 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 what do we have here? Up. Uh. Anyway, I, I, I got nothing against the guys here. It's kind of cool. They got a cool setup. It's cool to hear see this place. Head out. Can I help you? Alright, well, see you guys. I mean, they're cool. They're cool. They're not, you know, I'm not gonna do anything to me. The dog.
Alright, well. What do you want? Yes, yes, most interesting flesh bird meat you have there. Sure you don't want to tell me where you got it? Fine, fine. But this is not ordinary meat, you see. I have to know what you want with it. I can't help you if you don't tell me everything. I don't know you well enough to trust you. I don't trust you enough to... Yes. Don't talk such rot. My life, that's just... Yeah, I get it. Such a... Oh, please. Not that. Don't waste your flattery on... Don't talk such rot. Gracious, what a hero! Oh, that's pretty good. Sure, that... What nonsense! You can't scare me. Good one. Don't talk so... I see. Is that so? That works for me. I'm sorry. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We'll see. What do you want? All right. For me? Look, I like you, but not enough to... Please, go on. Thank you. I'll help you, but you owe me one. The meat you gave me is human flesh. There are several reasons for someone to have this kind of ingredient, but most of them are not very, how can I put it, orthodox. Well now that necromancy has been declared outlawed in Suradil, everything one would do with that would be considered a crime. That is, if the purpose is to use it in some magical spells, now if it is just for eating, that is just plain law. Says the coming from the one in likes to bang their bodies in order. Well, the flesh has been treated just like you would treat pork meat, which suggests... Still not telling me where you got it from? Fuck it. Oh, I would advise caution in dealing with aristocracy. You don't want to go accusing them of anything unless you can prove what you are saying, and even then, it will have to be pretty damn convincing for anyone to hear you. Good day. It's my pleasure. Did you find anything rel- Show me what you found. So you think she has been turned into a vampire by the Baron? Alright, then what are you going to do now? Good thinking. Do you have any idea where to look for him? You know where to start, then. Right.
to you. Sure. You can find her working at Mac Rust Hack and Supplies. Alright. Of course, it's. Found in a house. And which house might that be? So you go around snooping in noblemen's houses. You better get lost before I rescue you for theft. Hey, I can't talk now. Except for what I already told you before, nothing. He is a lord, so he can be rude with little people sometimes, but he is always nice to me. I guess he likes me. Yes, when he is not having guests, he cooks for himself. He says they are his family recipes, and he is the only one who can prepare a meal as his mother did for him. I don't know what you want me to say, but he's a good master. He's grieving for his wife, whose body's disappeared, so you'd better leave him alone now. Goodbye. We got nothing. So now we gotta talk to this lady. Well, hello there. Welcome to Mardgrass Tack and Supplies. Whether it's a saddle or riding clothes you need, or maybe a few recipes on how best to prepare horses, I'll be sure to be able to meet your needs. Of course, she works here in the tack and supplies shop and rents a bed from Gwendolyn Saldaran. Sure is, I opened it along with my wife, Narkagra, a while back now. It seems my wife enjoys riding horses rather than eating them. Shame, really, I have a killer recipe involving rosemary and garlic. Farewell! Annoying creature. Hello. 
Yeah, my husband and I opened it a few months ago. I have a passion for riding, so we pulled our... Of course, my husband's love for horses is a tad different than mine. Leave me alone! Where is this lady? Sorry, I'm looking for... What is it? Good day to you. Can I help with something? What can you possibly want with him? I don't know you well enough. Wouldn't you rather buy something? I guess so. You seem to be nice enough. Well, you're out of luck. The Baron left some time ago. And good company he was, too. It is a nice lady, too. You know, those high society types. Fair skin, unstunningly beautiful. She had this milky white skin with really bright eyes, almost as if they were shining in the night. Oh yes, the Baron needed some new riding gear for two horses, but he was so busy he could only come to the shop in the evening. He asked me to send this note when the riding gear was ready for collection. I think they went in the direction of Coral. The Baron told me he wanted to stop at Fort Carmel a fourth of the night though. Let me mark it on your map. Alright, the battle help. begins. Let's go. You too. Ah. I'm kinda curious what he said. Whoa, 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 sorry, that Palomino I had for lunch isn't agreeing with... What, Miriam? Just some kid looking for work. I felt sorry for her, so I took her on, and I don't regret it. She works hard for someone so young, really earns her goal. Farewell. Let's bring an adventure. Definitely diverting my quote from my original. But let's let's bring you uh, some guards. A pleasure. Goodbye. Sir? Some words should be shared. Thank you, sir. All the help I need. Unless I can just do this. Yeah. Let's do that. Is there a problem? All right. It, for me. We got like three guys. We have one more. Alright, let's go. The adventure begins. Fuck it. Let's 
just get started. Let's get this Where are they going? Don't worry, just don't go to bed because we gotta. I, I have a cure to 
disease potion at home. It's about time. Well then, come on. I got three of them. Alright, we're up when, like, again, we're just only gonna use them for this mission, because it's like a top secret mission to save. These guards are fucking kicking ass, man.
There she is. We found her. We found her, guys. SEAL Team 6. SEAL Team 6. Let's go, go. Please don't kill me. Thank you, thank you. I am too young to die. I'm Lady Lucy Varian. I was saved from my demented husband by my savior, Baron Von Zara. My husband is a monster. I don't know what kind of monster, but I know he is one. I asked the help of my only friend, the Baron, and he did what he could to save me. No, it's you who doesn't understand. I know I'm a vampire now, but it was the only way to be saved from Baldur Varian. You see, I had to be dead for him to let me go. I was married to him only a few weeks, and each night I was locked up in some cage he made for me. We never even consummated our wedding, for which I'm glad. But he's not human. No human would treat a newlywed bride this way. I couldn't involve them. He would have killed them. We had another servant before, and I made the mistake of talking to him. I don't know how bald and who I did, but soon after the servant disappeared. It is better to live as a creature of the night than as a weak, sequestrated wife. I don't know. He left me here with these vampires to teach me how to be one of them. He said he had some other matters to take care of and that he'll be back for me soon. He went to another province while I'm training here. No, I don't think so. The Baron is a kind and faithful friend. He saved me while he could have let me rock with my husband. He devised the whole plan to make me look dead. You don't understand him as I do, but he only wanted to protect me. I think he is in love with me, though he never actually said anything about it. He is shy and respectful like this. If you want proof of my husband's misbehavior, you should explore Greyrock Cave. Elizabeth once told me that he has been seen near there quite often by travelers.
んないっていうのもあったしああれですかね。
I hope it's here. God damn it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Necronomicon shit, bro. Shamir, grower and trainer. But I suspect you want to shoot, not grow grapes. Am I right? Knowledge is the key. I can show you some new... Well, there's much I can show. There's much I can show. Good that you want to get them.
đi à what can I do yes learn root haven't seen any yet it appears as a slightly glowing shoot that grows right out of the ground A few years ago, an adventurer not unlike yourself sold me a musty old tome containing alchemical formulas. Most of them were worthless. But one of the moldy pages contained a recipe for a potion known as an elixir of exploration, a sort of ultimate dungeon delver's brew. The formula looked sound, except it required an extremely rare ingredient. Yes, you guessed it. The Nern Root. I put the book aside, because frankly, I had so many other delicate experiments going on that I just didn't have the time to go plant hunting. Now that you're here, that changes things. The Elixir of Exploration is a multi-purpose potion that was obviously created with the Dungeon Explorer in mind. The formula describes many magnitudes of the brew. If you're interested, I wrote a short missive about it for the Imperial Alchemy Symposium. You bring me ten samples of Nurnwood, and I'll make the elixir available to you at a huge discount, as well as give you one for free. The best place for you to start would be Shade Leaf Copse, which is a part of the great forest northeast of here. Good luck, and hurry back with more of the Nurnwood. Don't be shy. If you're interested, see Valena Danton in Coral, or Azan in Andrew, or Burr's Grokash in Trading Hall. Take care. Oh, hello. What? Oh yeah, I'm Maybe in the Mages Guild, but now why would we join the Fighters Guild when we can just join the Mages Guild? Right? <laughs> I'm gonna join all the guilds at some point. Um, I think after I cure my vampirism, I'm gonna go definitely. Get it. What do you? Sure, show me what you need to translate. These were written by ogres. I'm sorry, but this is beyond my knowledge. I can think of several people, but your best chance would be Bodir at Barano. She resides at the Arcane University in the Imperial City. Thank you, oh god. What can I... You've got a lot to learn. I don't even use Take mysticism. Care. What can I... A magic item without... Take care. What do you... Knowledge is the key to success. Goodbye. Whoa, dude! And, uh... I might have to turn it on. This is, like, kind of fucked. <laughs> This is glitch, there's no way I can like I mean this is cool and all, but uh Alright, well we gotta like 
I'll figure out some way to your money. Oh fuck off. I got some way to fix head. this, but... Why do the gods insist? What do you want? If I can help, I will, of course, show me what this is about. Yes, I recognize this language. It is ogreish. It is very rare to find so much written in this language. The ogres are not very clever, and only a little few among them bothers with learning to write and read. My, my, aren't you impatient? I can't tell you their exact content for now, but from the look of it, you have a cooking recipe book here, a spell book there, and what seems to be a novel or a journal of some sort there. I can tell you that this spell book might belong to a mage. The recipes are mundane, but I need to look a bit more into it to know for sure, so why don't you come back in a week or so? Oh my god. Well, yes, I can have some of my assistants working on a translation of these books, but these things take time, you know. One week for the three books is the best I can do. I must return to my studies now. Please come back in a week. Alright. Oh, Jesus. Well, we can just do this. I... So... Seven days... I want to get this over with, guys. Oh, man. We worked all on... Come on. The makers of this mod. Why did you say two days? Why did you... Why? Why? Why, why, why one whole week? Oh, my God. Well, anyway. Because, like, look, I know what you're thinking. Like, I can just go back to another mission or do something else. But if I do something else, I'm going to forget about it. So, this is too... Oh. Like, I'm going to forget about it. I just want to get this mission over with. Because I'm going to totally forget about this. And, by the way, um, I will let you guys know that I, uh, this, uh, this is definitely going to get cut out. Me having to wait seven fucking days oh my god so this is the third day I'm waiting now Ugh. Fourth. No, but, like, fucking seriously. Whoever, like, why would you make... The makers of a Better Cities mod, why the fuck would you... Why would you... Why do I have to wait a whole week? Why, what's, what the fuck is wrong with you, God, man? Like, fuck you. I have to wait a whole fucking week? Oh, my God, that that's insane.
I think it's like one more day. I think this is a lot. Welcome. What do you want? I have good news and bad news. The bad news is that we can't give them back to you. They contain forbidden knowledge comparable to necromancy, and as such we can't let them out of the arcane university, even if very few people would be able to read them. The good news, however, is that we made an excerpt of the journal with all the important entries about this case that you can have. Here was a spell and alchemy book with various shamanic spells. We have already seen Ogre's use on some interesting alchemical recipes. You will understand after reading the journal. The last book was a nasty cookbook, which involved things such as human meat and goblin brains, among other things. All these books form the proof that the person you know as Lord Varian is in fact an ogre, who consumed the real Lord Varian's flesh to take his form, and his brain to absorb his memory. For sure he is. It seems that consuming the brain of his victims allowed this ogre to increase his intelligence for some time. Here is a letter you should show to it's the kind of proper authorities in Skinrad. It has the major skill seals and should be sufficient to have the guards rest Lord Varian. Now I need to return to my studies. These books have put me behind in my work. Oh! And by the way, I I'll, fi I'll fix this. This is... <laughs> How goes it, friend? Even the killer. What do you want? This is. It's my pleasure. Farewell. Yeah, we'll fix this. Don't worry, guys. I promise. Anyway. Let's arrest this bitch. I guess we can go out to, like, any guard and be like, hey, yada yada, this guy's going down. Or something. Go, bro. Yes. All right, citizen. What sort of? Stop right there. 
If it concerns nobility, you'd better talk to Dion, captain of the town guard. He's the only one who can handle this situation. Take care. Hiding, citizen. State your business. Certainly, citizen. We need more concerned people like you. Now, may I know what this is about? Hold on. Lord Varian is one of our most respected nobles here in town. And you are suggesting he is not who we think he is. Proof, you say? That should be interesting. Show it to me, please. Okay, look. It seems that you have indeed evidence, but I can't act solely on that. The Count needs to be informed about this. I suggest you go to the castle right away and tell the steward I sent you. Oh. Goodbye. Okay. This is a hold. What? Get, get, get out of the way. Just go. Alright, you're gonna get killed. Get killed. I that. Yeah! 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 yeah. Just get this. Oh. Bureaucracy. How goes it? Hello. Hiding citizen. Hiding citizen. What's the latest? The Count will not see you now. Not now. Not ever. He sees no one. I'm Mercator Hositis, his steward. I believe that's all you need to know. Oh, yes? I see. I take it you have some evidence of this? All this seems very official. I guess you didn't want your target to escape, right? Yes. Accusing a lord of skin grab without any backup evidence would have led you nowhere. Thanks for taking the precautions of making this all official. The Count will be pleased that you handled this like you did. I'll talk to the Count as soon as possible, and I expect there will be an arrest tomorrow morning. You are welcome to watch it, but you must not intervene. This is a matter for the guards of this city. Hiding citizen. I've seen Shamir. I guess we just go to his house. Here we go. I mean, there's like a glitch though. So, you're the one who gathered the evidence, is this right? Well, this is a job for the local city guards now, so you stay out of the way, all right? Yeah. Commendable, but I can't allow that. Only city guards and legion soldiers are authorized to make arrests. Move in, men. This is stupid. Uh, level design. Designers of this mod. I can make a few suggestions. Like, maybe not, like, freeze me. I'm waiting here forever. I I'm gonna use the bathroom in the meantime. Let's see what I, I mean. 
It'll be recorded anyway if something happens. Changed into an ogre, and he's using magic. I don't think we can handle this on our own. It seems we have the final piece of evidence to back up your accusation. My men need assistance. I'd better go in so my magic can support them. Unless... You still want to help? Yeah, what the hell's going on? Alright, then you go. I have wanted to take this imposter alive, but it seems that he's no longer an option. What's going on? Hail, citizen. Farewell, citizen. What's going on? Oh, we gotta kill Get out of here, get out, get out. Oh, these city guards are pussies. Oh my, what are you doing, man? then a pity we could not arrest him but you did well indeed it is the castle steward may offer a reward for this you should come up and see when you're able to the balder imposter turned back to the ogre mage able to defeat so i stepped in and lulled it one of the guards told me you speak to the castle steward in the hotel room. Okay. Greetings. What? Ah, here you are. We've been waiting for you. Too bad, though, you just missed the count. He was called away for another duty. Never mind though, I'm here to officiate on his behalf. And it is my great honor to give you this reward, for all your efforts in this dramatic case. It is especially the way you handled the situation that you are commended for. You went to extreme lengths to gather information and proof to back up your findings in this matter, and you did skin rat a great service. Without you, who knows how long this monster could have preyed on the innocent people of Skinbran, using the disguise of nobility, which in most cases is very hard to go against. So you really deserve this reward, as well as the fame accorded only to people of valor. Alright. It was my pleasure to meet such a responsible citizen. Thank you for everything you've done. Uh, please tell me I cannot have some fame so I don't become...
You're new here, or you'd know me. Two to your sexties, my people have lived in Skidrad since the dawn. Father and the Count. Farewell. Again, thank you for watching The Homeless Martial Artist. Um, you know, it was wonderful playing this game. It was a little too long. But anyway, guys, thank you so much. I apologize for the boring, the very long, protracted, boring sections of the game that you had to endure through. But obviously, of course, this is the end of part six. I'm going to amalgamate a lot, of, you know. I, I mean, I do believe I probably made three videos throughout this week, and I, I'm going to combine them into one video that will be part six. So, obviously, you're going to miss out on all the boring sections. Edit those out. And anyway, guys, thank you so much, and you have a wonderful day. Make sure to subscribe to my channel on YouTube and follow me on Twitch. Thank you.